A look at some dates to keep in mind on the Major League Baseball calendar. On Sunday, the results of the Hall of Fame Contemporary Era will be announced. The winter meetings are going to take place next week in San Diego. The Hall of Fame Class of 2023 will be announced January 24th, and then the Yankees' first spring training game will take place February 25th, and by the World Baseball Classic, that will begin March 8th. Good to have you back. Want to just get a quick follow on that, that Contemporary Era ballot. Is there a horse in that race that somebody should keep an eye on? Well, the one thing I do want to let everyone know, Bob, is it's tough to thread the needle of actually being the player who gets 12 votes. There are 16 committee members. You need 75% of the vote to become a Hall of Famer, so that's 12. The committee members can only vote for three players. So you start to think about if a few of the committee members leave you off, it's pretty hard to suddenly get to 12. A lot of traction has been building behind Fred McGriff and Greg Maddox and Chipper Jones, two former Braves, are on that committee. What is most interesting to me, though, is the fact that you have Bonds, McGuire, and Schilling, who did not make it on the writer's ballot, especially Bonds and McGuire. In McGuire's case, he admitted using steroids. In Bonds' case, the suspicion is very heavy. What happens with those players? It's always been thought that with Bonds and McGuire, it was a writer thing, and the writers kept them out. Well, now, John, it's players, it's executives, and it's three media members of the 16. So if you don't get in this time, it wasn't just the writers. Yeah, it was one of the complaints that players always have is that players don't have a say-so in the Hall of Fame selection committee. Well, now there is a committee with players part of it, and I'm really pulling for Fred McGriff, a guy that I played with with Tampa Bay for a couple of years. Uh, his numbers look so much better after the steroid era. I know he didn't get the 500 home runs, and he was still trying to play when I was wrapping up my career and I'll never forget a spring training at bat a left-handed pitcher I called a 3-2 slider to Fred McGriff and he struck out and he called me after the game and he said <laughs> I'm going for 500 home runs I'm trying to make this team and you call a 3-2 slider I'm sorry about that Freddie I hope you get in now I said Bonds and McGuire by the way because I'm so used to attaching right. the two of them together it's Bonds and Clemens who are on the ballot we also should mention Don Mattingly. Obviously, Yankee fans are pulling for him and rooting for him, but I think we may see one, two at the most players get that number. Still got to be a little nerve wracking for players waiting till Sunday, knowing that, again, it might be tough to get in but you're keeping your phone lines clear on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, the disappointment of not getting in with the regular ballot, now this comes up and you get excited again. And, you know, to, to Freddie McGriff's credit, I mean, everybody is raving about his career and what he has done. He would just love to get that call, that final piece, that final piece of closure. All right, let's get around.